The first syllable of the divine name is not Yah, as in Yehovah. How do we know that? We know that from passages like Exodus 15. Exodus 15, 2, you notice I have Lord selected here. Again, the, in English Bibles, the convention to convey the presence of the divine name is to put things in all small caps. There we have it, Lord. And if we go down here to the information column, we will see that the divine name here is not YHWH. It's just two consonants, the Yod and the He. And the He has a dot in it to signify that that is a full consonant. He can also uh, serve as part of a vowel. Okay, the scribes would do that. They'd put the dot in there to make sure that you knew it was a consonant. So this very clearly is a long A vowel. It is the same vowel, we go back here, as we have at the end of Adonai, right here. It gets put into the four consonants. It is A, A vowel, A. Okay, if we want to look at it in the Hebrew Bible, Exodus 15, 2, right there it is, Yah. That is the first syllable of the divine name, Yah. We know it absolutely, categorically, because the short form of the divine name, Yah, the two consonant short form, has an A vowel consistently in the Hebrew Bible. It doesn't have Yeh, it's not Yeh, like short for Yehovah, it's Yah. Now, if you want to know about the second syllable, why it's ve, or at least that's the best guess, Yahveh, Yahweh, you can go to my website and put in the divine name and you'll, you'll get a, a full discussion of what, how we know about the second syllable, or at least the best guess. But what we do know for sure is that the divine name was not Yehovah. Again, the short form tells us otherwise, and the whole reason for using the vocalization here uh, is otherwise. One last point. This is not you know, as common as the full spelling. Let's just search for all of the short forms, Yah, right here in the Hebrew Bible. And over here we get 26 times. So 26 times in the Hebrew Bible, the, you know, for whatever reason, the text has the short form. It is always Yah. It is never Yeah.